I appreciate that question, and this is the important part of this, that you know, we have to adopt an anti-racist and a racial justice lens to all of what we do, because racism is embedded in every aspect of our society. And uh, you talk about our parks. You know, the truth is that for many families throughout the city, they don't have beautiful lawns where kids can run around. Most of our backyards are parking lots. And so our parks are our families and our community's backyards. We want everyone to have that space to run around with a beautiful lawn and just be free and be a child. So that's why we're investing so much in our parks. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we, were, we had to make significant, severe restrictions on our parks. But now that we're opening them up, we're also continuing to invest in them so that when kids come to our parks, they can look around and feel as though they have the best amenities that a city can possibly offer. Uh, we've joined a coalition of cities throughout the country that our goal is to have every child live within a 10 minute walk of a beautiful public park. From what I understand, we're only about, I believe we're the third city in the entire country to reach that goal. So yes, this is an investment that benefits all of us, but it's also an investment that helps address some racial inequalities that we've dealt with in the past.